covering weapon systems across air, land, and sea. Welcome to Millpower Minis. The U.S. Navy's F-14 Tomcat, America's legendary naval fleet defense fighter. A carrier-capable, supersonic, twin-engine, two-seat, twin-tail, variable-sweep wing fighter that became an icon to a generation. Designed to perform air superiority, intercept, and reconnaissance, the F-14 was a very capable aircraft. Following the failure of the joint General Dynamics Grumman F-111B Naval Fighter Program, the Tomcat was developed for the United States Navy's Naval Fighter Experimental Program. The aircraft's introduction marked a radical shift in air combat doctrine in the U.S. military. From large and heavy fighter bombers to fast and agile dogfighters. In fact, it was the first of the American Teen Series fighters, which included the undefeated F-15 Eagle, dominant F-16 Fighting Falcon, and reliable F-A-18 Hornet. The Tomcat was first flown on December 21st, 1970, and entered service with the U.S. Navy in 1974. Having been designed during the Cold War, the Tomcat took many lessons from America's Korean and Vietnam aerial campaigns. Built as an air superiority fighter, and a long-range naval interceptor meant the F-14 was a vital linchpin of the fleet's defense. In order to facilitate these roles, F-14s were heavily armed and could reach to strike any enemy threatening a carrier strike group. Entering service in 1974, Tomcat's first deployment would be aboard the USS Enterprise, signifying the end of the F-4 Phantom's tenure as the Navy's go-to fighter interceptor. To perform as an interceptor, it needed to be fast. The fighter's initial engines, the Pratt & Whitney TF-30P412A, were very unreliable, being prone to compressor stalls when throttled aggressively or when at high angles of attack, which is more likely to happen in a dogfight. The later power plants, the General Electric F110 afterburning turbofans, provided much better response times and superior dependability. These new engines propelled the aircraft to a max speed of Mach 2.3, an altitude of 53,000 feet, and out to a range greater than 1,800 miles. Designed to combat highly maneuverable aircraft, as well as Soviet anti-ship cruise missiles and bombers, the Tomcat was a highly capable platform. Armed with an M61 Vulcan cannon, AIM-9 Sidewinder, AIM-7 Sparrow, and AIM-54 Phoenix, the fighter could engage airborne threats at a wide variety of ranges. The Vulcan could shred an aircraft as close as 2,000 feet, while the massive half-ton Phoenix could strike out to a distance of 100 miles. One huge advantage the aircraft's avionics provided the A and AWG-9 radar allowed the Tomcat to be the first aircraft that could track several targets and launch multiple missiles simultaneously. Featuring a two-seat cockpit with a bubble canopy, the pilot and radar intercept officer, or Rio, enjoyed all-around visibility, aiding air crew in close quarters air-to-air -air combat. When someone thinks of the Tomcat, you picture its most memorable feature, the variable geometry wings. The fighter's central air data computer automatically controlled the sweep of the wings, yet the platform allowed for manual override by the pilot when the need arose. While on the ground, not in use, or parked on the carrier, the wings would be swept back 75 degrees. Full sweep in flight was 68 degrees for high-speed flight and acceleration, while low-speed, takeoff, landing speeds saw a sweep of 20 degrees. The Tomcat was a very popular aircraft, beloved by her pilots, sailors, and the military aviation enthusiast community. Soon, that popularity would expand to the populace, making the Tomcat a household name. In 1986, what is likely the most iconic military aviation movie of all time released, Top Gun. Though Tom Cruise had the leading role, the F-14 Tomcat was the true star of the film. Naval recruiting even saw a boost in the film's aftermath. Over the course of his three-decade career, the Tomcat was praised for its performance, 
reliability, and toughness. However, the Tomcat's biggest weakness was its high cost and complexity, which made it difficult to maintain and operate, and also vulnerable to incidents. Despite its criticisms, the Tomcat remains a popular aircraft with both former pilots, retired sailors, and the general public. They were replaced by the F-18 Super Hornet before its retirement, and having been out of service for nearly 17 years, the F-14 continues to be remembered as one of the most iconic aircraft of the 20th century.